Now today's video will be a bit different. I will try to show you the not so bright side of doing what I do as a hobby. I have here a rattly big Puma <laughs> box which I don't know why that is. I just received it like this from a good friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, and I shall be looking into what's inside the box, more specifically what I haven't managed to film during my clips. So, except for this bunch of wires that I have found here, I also have a couple of interesting phones here is a Panasonic. Let's see what the model is. It's an EBGD93 I guess but I'll put a specific name right here somewhere. So a great looking phone, a staple and an iconic device at that but sadly I don't have a battery for it nor is it in good aesthetic neck as you can see by the scuffs and marks on the sides. Maybe it would work, maybe not. Moving on. There's a nice looking Sony Ericsson which actually I bought for myself for about two euros. But the problem is it has a battery though it's swollen. Now the device itself is looking uh, pretty well but uh, really the battery is so damaged that I cannot even close the lid correctly without damaging it. As you can see it has started to bend just a bit. So again, this is a pointless endeavor. Next on the chopping block, an Nokia 3310. Pretty acceptable uh, con uh, aesthetic condition especially given that these uh, fascias are Express On branded Nokia fascias. As you can see this one is a bit broken but comes right off and can be replaced with a good looking one. Sadly though the battery not only doesn't work, you're not able to charge it as you can see by this damaged contact here. So I wasn't able to start this one either. Another great Nokia, the N70. Now I used to own one of these phones and this one can be started up. I don't know if it has a battery or not, but it's irrelevant as, as the screen goes white and the the keyboard is also partially affected. Some keys seem to be working, some not. Though at this point it's rather uh, useless to turn it on since you cannot see anything on the screen. There's an interesting Sony phone again. Now this, this I believe would be a competitor for the the Ericsson T10, T18 and stuff like that. It's a great looking pocketable uh, cell phone, a minimalistic design from the late 90s to the mid 40s, 2000 I believe. The model is the Z5 but I don't have a battery for it. So I cannot show anything regarding this phone. Again, very frustrating. Let's see what else we have here. There's a rather shabby looking all view, but I already presented this phone on my channel before as I have an, an exact device like this also, so I will be passing that as well. Speaking of recurring phones on my tabletop, here's an LG U8130 and a better example than what I reviewed in my one of my previous episodes, link to that one there. This one works, is fully functional and it's in great nick, but it's kind of pointless to film it again. So I'm just going to move on. Another 
Ericsson. This time it was after the Sony merger. So this one was called the Sony Ericsson. Now I know this type of phone. It's some sort of a mid-ranger. It's called the T300. I rem No, actually it's the T290. But I remember it well. Uh, it's not really that interesting from my point of view and it's also in bad aesthetical condition so I won't be bothering with it. Another quaint looking Nokia, the 3510i. Really this is a mid-ranger but it's not interesting at all except for this rather quirky looking keyboard which didn't appeal to me at all. It's not an interesting device and I don't want to look into it. As you can see the the chassis of the phone is based on the old Nokia 3310 design so they really you can really recognize some uh, some of the design elements and the common parts used between these two. So they really uh, made the most out of this uh, platform, Nokia did. Anyway, moving on. There is another type of LG. Now this one, I am really frustrated for not being able to test it because this is a QWERTY device. Now this is another great which I'm sad to say I will not be able to film it. It doesn't have a battery lid and also doesn't have a battery. The reason I'm so frustrated with this one because it sports a QWERTY keyboard, a physical one at that. I'm a sucker for QWERTY keyboards and strange looking devices. I really wished I were able to film this in depth, but sad to say I'm not. Maybe sometimes I'll get the chance. There's also some nifty Samsung here. Now this one is called the something or other E 840, I believe I got that right. Now, interesting enough, even though I'm a huge Samsung fan today, I wasn't when way back when these phones were out. So I can't really find anything interesting about this one. Even if it had a battery, I wouldn't be bothered with it. There's an also an interesting looking Zima's MT55 ST55 or ST60. I don't remember which one, but they were two models. Uh, this one is an ST55. Now I remember these phones fairly well. Uh, by the time these came out, I was kind of sick with Zeman's strategy. I didn't approve of their bargain basement approach. Now by the time these came out I I was rather um, disenchanted with Siemens uh, approach in terms of mobile phones. I always wished they would fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nokia and produce true flagships and truly worthy phones. This was not it. Even if it worked, even if this a particular example was functioning. I really don't find the ST55 interesting, so I'm just throwing it out there. There's another Nokia platform, a 3310 here. Uh, it's supposed to be for spare parts or something like this. I'm sure that some, if not all, parts are functioning, like the screen, the keyboard, the uh, um, the motherboard and so on, but really, it's just a prop here at this point. And other than that, that's about it. And to show the full, I don't know, the full ridiculousness of the situation, 
this, my friends, is what hoarding looks like. So, if you don't want to end up uh, gathering a junk like this, I invite you to check out my videos as I present weird, quirky and obsolete tech stuff on a weekly basis so you don't have to buy them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.